Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. I'm going to show you how you can use the Gauss Jordan elimination method in order to solve a system of three equations. So here we have three linear equations, x plus y plus z equals negative 10, at 2x plus 5y plus 2z equals negative 20, and negative x plus 8y minus 3z equals 22. So in order to see what I'm doing, I'm first going to take all of this and put it into a matrix. So I got 1x, 1y, 1z equals negative 10, 2x, 5y, 2z equals negative 20, negative 1x, 8y, negative 3z equals 22. All right. Now there are three things we are allowed to do. We can swap rows, we can multiply a row by a constant, or I can add a multiple of one row to another. So let's see what steps will be needed in order to transform this into reduced echelon form. So the first thing I want to do is maybe get some zeros here and here. Well, if I'm going to get a zero in the second row, that means I need to take the second row and add to it negative 2 times row 1. And that will give me a new row 2. In order to get a zero here, I'll have to take row 3 and basically add to it row 1. Alright, let's see what these two steps look like in my new matrix. So we haven't done anything to row 1. We will leave it just as it is. And we start thinking to ourselves, okay, if I have 2, I'm adding to it a negative. Oh, yep, there's my 0 right there. Let's see, we will also get a 3. 0 and 0. Let's double check that. So 5 minus 2, good. 2 minus 2, yep. Negative 20 plus 20, 0. Okay, everything's checking out. All right. Now imagine taking row 3 and adding row 1. So we're going to add those two guys together, and this will become the new row 3. So negative 1 and 1, 0. 8 and 1, 9. Negative 3 and 1, negative 2, 22 and negative 10, 12. All right, so we have this new matrix, and looks like things are going pretty good. Now let's try and get a zero for the third row, okay? So if we take row three, we add to it a negative three times row two. This should give us a new row three. Let's see what it looks like. So we're not changing row 1, we'll write that in, and we're not changing row 2. But we are taking this last row here, that's the one we're changing. So row 3 plus negative 3 times 0, 0. 9 plus a negative 3 times 3, so that's 9 minus 9. There's that 0. Negative 2 plus a negative 3 times 0. Looks like we get basically a negative 2. 12 plus a negative 3 times 0. Oh, looks like just a 12. All right, things are looking pretty good. We're getting zeros beneath this lower diagonal here. And now we want to go ahead and change these guys into ones. Which we can do if we just take the entire second row there. Let's multiply that by a third. We'll take this entire row, try and get a 1 right there, by multiplying by a negative 1 half. Okay, so let's see what that new matrix looks like. So first row, haven't changed. We'll multiply everything in the second row by 1 third. And everything in the last row by a negative 1 half. All right, now we're in reduced echelon form. I have ones along my diagonal, zeros below that diagonal. Things are looking very nice. And they're looking especially nice because here is the system of equations this now represents. I have x plus y plus z equals negative 10. I have y is equal to 0. And z is equal to negative 6. So I have two out of my three variables at this point. Let's go ahead and take these and substitute them into the first. So 
So x plus 0 minus 6 equals negative 10. So you add 6 to both sides. So x must equal a negative 4. All right. Now we have all three of our variables. We can package them up into an ordered triple. So negative 4 for x, 0 for y, and negative 6 for z. This will give us a final solution. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.